Good morning everyone this is Dr Vineet Sahagal and welcome to the clinical ophthalmology series lot of students in last uh, few months have told me that there are lot of lectures for the PG aspirants for the FMG aspirants but there is still lacuna of the lectures that can be useful for third year students also so what should be your approach when you are in the mini prof or you are in the ophthalmology prof so not only you have to think about your pg exam you also have to think about as a clinician this is the first year of your medical life where you get rounds where you get uh, clinical postings and where you get an idea about how to see the patients and how to basically go about with the theory part so then in this clinical ophthalmology series i would be having few parts so first of all is i would be showing you how to basically approach a case so let's say if there is a patient who has come with the end of thelmitis there is a patient of cataract there is a patient of pterygium so how should we go about it okay we would discuss about some tools some techniques of the ophthalmology examination i would be showing you the real time patient examination i would be showing you the real time instruments and their uses so hope you would like this of clinical ophthalmology series where i would be taking small sessions in this month of may where i would be covering lots of lots of important topics very useful for your practical examination as well as for your theory so what would be the features the first feature would be it would be tailor made for understanding ophthalmology so not only the third year students the interns the optometrist or any ophthalmologist can basically see these lectures and see what are the finer points of the examining a patient who has come with certain eye disease it would also be very useful for a practical examination so remember whenever you go for a practical examination you have a short case you have a long case and you have a instrument viva so we would go like this we would basically put some short cases also for you let's say there is a patient of pterygium there is a patient of ectropion entropion and we would be also telling you about the long cases let's say you are get a patient of retinal detachment you get a patient of cataract how to go about and what to present in the case and what you should basically expect as the viva questions not only this i think that whenever there is a paper you should be very very clear about the concepts so if you are clear about the concept what to be done in a cataract surgery what to be done in a glaucoma surgery so whether you are in a third year exam whether you are a fmg aspirant whether you are a neat pg aspirant or you are a, you are an aims aspirant this would help you in all so with the topic with the flow of topic i would put some important mcqs as well which after seeing this topic you would be able to answer then what are the things that we are going to discuss in this session we would be having lots of videos and the spotters so i would just show you so let's say this is the video okay so see what we are doing we are basically taking 4 mm from the limbus and from 4 mm of limbus with a 30 gauge needle i am putting the intravitreal injection inside the eye so we would be putting live videos for you so that you get an experience because in this covid times you are not having lot of experience of the wards so don't worry i myself being in one of the top most eye hospitals in new delhi would put a lot of videos for you so that the you get the real time patient experience we would be having lot of viva questions okay so like there is a patient who is a 64 year old post cataract surgery came with the blurring of vision and pain and redness on slit lamp examination there is cells in the anterior chamber and hypopion what is your diagnosis okay so you would do a ultrasound in a ultrasound you would get some findings where you can say that this patient is having a end of thelmitis then we would also basically talk a lot about the practical instruments that are used in ophthalmology we would talk about slit lamp we would talk about aplanation tonometry gonioscopy how to do direct and indirect ophthalmoscopy various type of instruments extraocular and intraocular instruments we would talk about various types of investigations in ophthalmology we would talk about the b scan images b scan is the usgb scan we would talk about the a scan 
we would talk about how to do the retinoscopy, how to interpret Snellen's chart and what are the various tests of the binocularity and the stereoscopy. So lots of things would be covered and we would have a topic wise discussion also. Let's say there is what should be the approach to the case of a red eye, whether it is a conjunctivitis, whether it is a uveitis, which type of conjunctivitis it is. We would also have other topics as well as covered like uveitis, like cataract, corneal ulcers, ptosis, endophthalmitis, angle closure glaucoma, approach to the case of ectropion or entropion or approach to the case of esotropia, any case of squint. Okay, so if you can see, we would put the videos also to how to examine the patient. Okay, so if you can see, I am doing a direct ophthalmoscopy. Okay, so let's say there is a main viva there we call it grand viva when the external takes the viva so we would have the viva questions as well discussed too so let's say if you are a right handed person in which hand you would hold the slit lamp and which eye you would see so if you can see in this picture i am holding the direct ophthalmoscope in my right eye and from the right eye i am seeing the right eye of the patient okay we would have other questions as well like the name, the dark room procedure, what is the cycloplegic that is used in small children. So lots of clinical based questions would be told to you. Okay. So all of this you can get in the Unacademy Let's Crack Neat PG channel. If you want to go with the iconic subscription where you have the best of the Unacademy and prep ladder, you can use my code OFTHEL10. Lots of good things going on for the Neat PG aspiration for the third year students. So please subscribe for this channel with my code of 10 and unlock the free platform. So remember this series of clinical ophthalmology, this would be on the let's crack neat PG channel and we would be having short videos in the month of May, which would be making you more and more clear regarding the fundamentals of the ophthalmology regarding the practical tips of the ophthalmology. So subscribe with my code of 10 and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.